Well, Deborah, again, it's been a lot of the same. You know, we see a lot of big scenes as we're covering shootings and other incidents in the city of Raleigh, but I haven't seen anything like this, certainly not in the last year. Just the size of this police presence and the number of agencies involved. Yes, where we are is on the east side of Raleigh. It is close to uh, where their jurisdiction ends and Wake County's is going to begin. But you have really anybody and everybody coming in here to lend a hand. You can see here multiple city of Raleigh officers in the middle of this intersection, Eagle Trace Drive and Southall Road, directing traffic. Neighbors still not being allowed into their neighborhood, even though where we are right now, more than a mile from the main scene, more than a mile from where this shooting happened. That gives you an idea how far back police are pushing people, trying to keep civilians away from this area as they continue to investigate. As we pan over here, you can see Raleigh fire units here as well, including an all-terrain vehicle that's on the back of a trailer there. We've seen a Raleigh police all-terrain vehicle deployed here as well. Yet another thing that's been really noteworthy here has been the speed that we've seen officers moving around here. We've got one Raleigh police vehicle moving through here right now. That's actually a little bit slow compared to uh, how fast we've seen some of these cruisers coming through here. But you hear that engine rev. You can see the urgency, hear the urgency with which these officers are uh, are doing their job here this afternoon. Again, this is the Headingham neighborhood. If you are coming this way, if you are coming home, uh, just look at this. Look at this. More Raleigh police vehicles pouring into this neighborhood, pouring into this community. Uh, I haven't, I don't have an exact count, but just in the, the 20 or 30 minutes or so that we've been here, it has to be in the dozens of Raleigh police vehicles that we've seen fly into the Headingham neighborhood. See, there goes another unmarked car, another unmarked car there behind me. Uh, so a, a, an incredibly chaotic scene, an incredibly busy scene that uh, we are staying on top of out here. We'll have more as the situation develops. Deborah.